So this is kind of, I call it my coffee bar area. <laughs> So you may be wondering why I have so much headroom. We actually have a 13 inch roof raise. Do something different, do this, you know, be out there, be in a great community. Really run basically everything out of solar. Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Kevin. And this is our school bus scout. He's a 40 foot school bus and we converted him into a tiny home. Yeah, come check it out. Welcome inside of Scout. This is our kitchen. We have an eight foot counter space. It's Corian counter. We picked it over quartz because A, quartz was really expensive. We wanted a cheaper option, but we wanted something uh, more sturdy and less porous than say particle board. Um, so it's super easy to clean. It has, um, it's very strong. So if I put something hot on it, it's not gonna make like a burn ring. Um, we like the patterns. There was lots of different options. It was really easy to install, easy to find someone to install it. So that's why we chose the Corian. Um, we picked eight feet worth of countertop space because we wanted lots of room to prep. I love how much space we have. We like to keep it very minimalistic with not much clutter on it or else it kind of defeats the purpose of having the countertop space. Um, so that's why we chose it. We like the layout of it. It's really easy to cook, throw dishes in the sink, and then we prep over here. Um, another good portion is we have our kitchen cart. Um, it comes out so that we have actually extra um, prep space. But it's made of the same countertop material and we attach the original lid to the back. And it is, this is just like a cutting board that was the original. So we have more prep space if we need it but also we can roll this over and make like a dining room table. We don't have any trouble um, with it flying while we're driving because we have wheels down here that lock. So we just push it back and lock it and it stays the same. So, and we made it really tight. So it can't really go anywhere. <laughs> so we picked such a big sink for like a tiny area is because we cook almost all of our meals. And so we do have lots of, we generate lots of dishes. Um, and so we wanted to make sure we had plenty of room to put our dishes in so that they weren't stacking up, they weren't piling up. And honestly, since we had eight feet worth to work with, we were like, why not put in a big sink? Cause we don't need like that much prep space. So my storage is awesome. We really like these upper cabinets because um, we feel like it's out of the way. Having a 12 inch roof raise really helps with these upper cabinets. I think if we didn't do the roof raise, these cabinets might sit too far down and be in the way. But since we do have the roof raise, they're up, they're out of the way. We still have a nice eye line out to the view. Um, but we really like them. Um, it leaves lots of room. So we have all of our plates in here. Um, so lots and lots of space. We actually probably have more storage than we need, um, but it allows for everything to have its own spot so that we can have more of a minimalistic view in here and not have um, a lot of clutter, which is something we like to do. On top of all of our cabinets, actually there's a lip on it. So we can store things up here without them sliding. Yeah, so our stove is propane, three burner with the oven. Um, we use it probably daily. Um, this is where we do most of our cooking. We do have an outdoor um, grill that we use when we wanna cook outdoors, but we use most of our cooking here. Um, and it's awesome, we really like it. We feel like there's enough room. We can have multiple pots going at the same time. The oven works really wonderfully. No complaints as far as our cooking goes. Okay, so underneath our stove, we made a big pull out. So we have all of our pots and pans, all of our cutting boards, a muffin tin. We made this as deep as possible, A, because we wanted the stove to sit up higher on the countertop, and B, we wanted a deep, something deep seated so that all of our pots and pans could go in the same place. And most of these have magnets on it so that they stay shut while we're driving. So far, none of our knives have fallen. Thank goodness. Um, but yes, they don't move while we drive. This is like a really strong magnet. So um, we really like having them up off the counter. We don't need to find space for them in drawers. So we do like having the uh, magnetic strip. Okay, and on the other side of the kitchen, um, we have, this is our trash can. So we like it hidden. It looks really pretty. It also gives us a place to put our Berkey. Um, so we put all, this is where we have our drinking water, our filtered water. And then I also have my espresso machine that I use either A, with solar when we have enough sun or B, when we're hooked up. Um, so this is kind of, I call it my coffee bar area. <laughs> so this is our, our pantry. All of this is good storage. So we have a cabinet that opens up and we have storage, spices, all of our food. They, keep, they get bigger as you go down. 
And then we have a hidden compartment down here that we can pop open and actually all of our dog's food is down here. So that's where we um, get their dog food from. So lots and lots of space for food and for dry goods. Um, we have more than enough space in here. Uh, moving on, we have a microwave, some storage up here, storage all up here, and then um, like an apartment sized fridge. We feel like it's perfect size for what we need. We're able to buy groceries and keep about, depending on where we are, I would say about two weeks, two and a half weeks worth of groceries for us to cook um, before we need to go back to the grocery store. Our fridge does not pull much solar when we use it, so we, we get to run it continuously. Our microwave obviously pulls a little bit more, so we use that sparingly if we're somewhere where we're not getting a ton of sun, um, but I use it all the time, so. <laughs> The reason we converted to school bus is uh, I always wanted to kind of like travel and, and just be out in the middle of nowhere. Um, my main reason was I was in the military um, and uh, I did a lot of uh, outdoor stuff and I just I, I enjoy that and I always want to be out with nature and the reason for the bus is really not me, it's uh, my beautiful wife here. Um, I wanted to do something small like a van or like uh, the big expedition. Uh, outdoor uh overlanders. overlanders that they do uh but uh she needed certain things in the bus that um we were able to compromise it and make this happen and so i was able to still do my outside stuff and she was able to get her her i needed some space <laughs> so so we were able to do both um so yeah that's the reason why we uh did a bus it was it was less traditional than an rv we weighed the pros and cons of doing an rv versus a school bus um, and we just felt like the pros of a school bus outweighed, you know, the pros of an RV. And so that's why we chose to do a school bus rather than an RV. We're, we're so happy we, we chose a school bus over an RV. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if, if someone's driving an RV, that's, that's what they like, good for them. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, we, you know, we just, we really being able to be more flexible. Um, you know, we don't have to worry about always being hooked up or not having enough space on the roof to put up solar panels. Um, or not being able to customize the inside, the inside of the of the of the bus. Um, you know, a lot of RVs they come in a specific layout, and you know, you're paying already a lot of money for it. And on top of that, now you're gonna have to pay more for, to remodel it. So, um, I'm I'm extremely happy with with how the bus came out. And safety wise, we felt like this school bus is kind of like a tank. We felt like our odds were pretty good if we got in an accident that mm -hmm. um, we were gonna be pretty safe in a school bus um, since it's meant to. To carry children, we felt like the safety rating was, you know, pretty good on a school bus. Welcome to our living room in our school bus scout. Um, over here we have um, our desk. Kevin mainly, Kevin works full time. My husband works full time from home, um, and so this is his desk setup. It's you know enough space for what he needs and for his gaming. Uh, make sure I mention that he loves to game. So moving on, we have our living room. We have eight feet worth of couch over here, and I believe it's about three feet worth of couch over here. Um, these do lift up and there is storage underneath both of these. Um, we have our wheel wells under these as well. So it's not a ton of storage, but it's enough. Um, they also pull out and meet in the middle and these can fit here. And so it creates like a guest bed. Um, so that's been really helpful when we want to have people come over and hang out. Um, we have more upper cabinet space, more than we need. We have plenty of upper cabinet space. Um, so just some miscellaneous items in here. So you may be wondering why I have so much headroom. We actually have a 13 inch roof raise. So we took out all of the original school bus windows. We raised it 13 inches and then put in RV windows. Um, so that has probably been one of our favorite features of this bus is all the extra headroom space. And because of the headroom space, we then can put all of these upper cabinets. They don't, you know, ruin our line of eyesight. And it's also tons of storage that's out of the way. Um, so this is actually the height of the original school bus. And then this is where we raised it. So you may be wondering what these hooks are for. Um, I have, we, so one thing I wanted was a hammock in my living room. 
So where the ribs of the school bus are, we marked them so that we could drill hooks into them and I can hang a, a hammock and hammock in here. It's really nice when we have all the windows open, I can read a good book and just hammock inside my living room. Um, so that's a fun kind of quirky feature in here. Well, hello, welcome to the laundry room. So here we have the laundry room. Um, we have a washer dryer combo. We really like it. You use smaller loads so we don't throw our um, sheets and comforter into it. We'll take those to the laundry mat when we need them done. But this, however, we'll do our towels, it'll do our clothing items and any small things we need done. Um, and we actually really love it. We've heard a lot of um, negative feedback for washer and dryers in schoolies or in RVs, but we actually love our washer and dryer. We use it quite often. Um, it does take a lot of water, so we just make sure that we're good on water when we do use it. But other than that, um, it's been really great to have. Um, here we just have some storage, all of our like tools that we normally need like on a weekly basis. This is our medicine cabinet, so this is all storage, um, laundry items, extras, medicine, all of those fun stuff that every home needs. All right, moving from the laundry room to the bathroom. Um, on this side, we have our vanity and our toilet. And on this side is our shower. We chose to keep it as open as possible so we can feel like it's one big bathroom. We have sliding door here and sliding door over there. They can both close. And so you feel like you're in, you know, kind of like a normal size bathroom. You can throw your clothes in the washer and dryer, even hop in the shower, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. It's very open. We have plenty of space to change. Um, we actually really love this layout. So we have a separate toilet. Um, it's our composting toilet. We love it. We think it is very um, low maintenance. It has a vent with a fan that leads out of it. Um, I was iffy on a composting toilet and we got this one and it was a small learning curve, but it's actually super easy to use and we really um, like having it. Um, it saves us from water, having to flush, things like that. For our shower, it is tiled. We have a Moen, um, like low flow, uh, water saving head. We don't really skimp on showers very often. Um, if we're boondocking, we tend to, to take military quick showers um, because we want to save as much water as we can. Um, but we do have 20, 125 gallons of fresh water, so we shower quite often. We have a water heater. Um, and our water heater makes it for, for hot showers, hot water. And, um, I pretty much refuse to take a cold shower unless you're going to pay me. <laughs> so over here we have our vanity. Um, I really love my mirror. I think it's, it's really cute, really pretty. This is probably my favorite part of our bathroom. Um, we have plenty of upper cabinet storage again. Um, so all of our bathroom stuff fits in here. We are, again, we have more than we need. Some of these are almost empty. Moving on from the bathroom, this is the hallway leading into our bedroom. We have two closets on either side. Over here, we have our clothes closet. So all of our clothes are hanging and then we just have some extra clothing in um, drawers down here. We have tons of clothing space. That was a non-negotiable for me. <laughs> um, on this closet, this is like our multi-purpose closet. We have all of our solar um, lithium batteries over here. Um, we have storage up here. All of our cleaning products are hanging. Um, I have hats. This is just an all-in-one closet where we have lots of storage. Um, it's very helpful. Luckily, when we got married, we, we lived in a little bit, uh, what's it called? Um, a, uh, like a mother-in-law suite. Mother -in -law it was very, right. very small. So we kind of got you know, it was probably about the same size of uh, space wise as, as, as the bus. Um, but then, you know, we went into a three, two and a half uh, apartment, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom apartment. Um, and we did have a lot of stuff at one point. Uh, but, you know, we were happy, but we, there was so much more stuff we could do. Um, and so transitioning to the bus has been, I would say, uh, it was, it's been a lot easier for me. I can wear the same three shirts and three <laughs> shorts all day long. Um, but, but yeah, what about you? I, I would say downsizing was, um, probably the most difficult, difficult part of it. We had to sell all of our furniture. Um, we had to sell or give away, uh, 90% of our things. Um, so that process in itself is difficult. 
Um, it is hard paring down, figuring out what you need. Now that we are pared down, we feel like even the stuff that we, this is everything we own, and we even feel like that's too much. We feel like we, we could live on so much less, and it is extremely freeing um, to be so minimalistic and not need that much. Um, it is freeing, so even though it was a hard process paring down, um, it feels great. It feels great to not have that much stuff, not have that much clutter. I feel like it leaves more room in your life for other experiences and, and, and memories instead of material objects. So the transition was difficult for me personally, but now that we're in it, it's easy. Living in this bus has been a, a complete joy. It's been easy, it's been fun. Um, we haven't felt cramped. We feel like there's ample space in here for us and our dogs. The dogs love it. Um, so we've been having a blast traveling the US in, in our bus. Welcome to the bedroom. Um, we have a purple mattress. We absolutely love it. Again, we have plenty of upper cabinet storage. All of this is storage. And our mini split is back here. Um, basically all we have to do is just hook it up. But on such a beautiful day, we don't even need it. On this side of the room, we have a projector screen and then our projector is right here behind us. That's what we use for our TV. Um, when we need to watch TV, we can pull down the screen, we flip our pillows, get all cozy under a blanket, and we can watch TV. Um, we love movie nights in here. It's very cozy. I hung twinkly lights. They're really pretty at night. It gives it a nice vibe in here. Um, we have an emergency exit hatch up there that lets in some really pretty natural light. So this is our bed, but this is actually our dog's bed. Um, there is a six inch memory foam. And then on top of it, there's two orthopedic beds and then just a normal sheet over it. And this is their favorite part of the bus is the back window. And so we can actually open this window and they like to put their little heads out and just watch all the wildlife. So this is their space back here. Um, our bed does lift up and there is storage underneath our bed. That is also where we have our 125 gallon fresh water tank, our water heater, um, all, all of our shoe storage is under there. We have enough room for two suitcases down there. So lots of storage under the bed. Hey guys, so uh, I'm gonna show you around a little bit outside of Scout. Um, so as far as the solar goes, we have uh, A385 uh, solar uh, watts panels. Um, that equals to about 3,080 watts. Um, we really run basically everything out of solar. Um, so uh, except the water heater and the stove, uh, we basically can run everything during the whole day. The AC keeps, uh, we have it on majority of the time. The only time we do monitor a little bit more is when it's a little bit uh, cloudy or we having some, a couple days that are going to be raining. Um, on top of that, we have some uh, side cameras. We have them both sides, left and right. We also have two cameras in the back. Um, one is, we tow a Jeep, so one is pointing above the Jeep and the other one is pointing at the Jeep. So we make sure that the Jeep uh, is towing properly and there's no issues there of the cameras we have some really nice lights we have uh, a whole strip of uh, led lights um, on the right side the same thing it's mirrors on the left side on top of that we have a little ni uh, nice little light on top of the door um, that we can turn that individually uh, the reason we have so many lights is in case we're in a shady spot or we hear something in the middle of the night or really when we, we have two dogs so when we take them out we want to make sure we can light the whole thing up um, so there's only been one occasion where we've had to just really light up the, the place because we felt a little bit unsafe. Um, but uh, other, other than that, they, they've been great. Even when we're camping with other buses, we light the place up. So in case nobody else have lights outside. So we have some storage on the on the side of the bus. So there are regular toolboxes. So we cut in the side of the bus and mount two uh, toolboxes. They're a little bit different, so you can kind of tell, uh, but it's great to keep uh, outside and outdoor stuff. With toolboxes, we're lucky we can lock them up. So we don't have to worry about anybody getting into them. Here we have uh, the water hose. This is a little empty. Um, this is how we uh, store everything. So here for the towing system, we use the Blue Ox uh, to tow the Jeep. We have had no issues with it. We love it. On top of the towing system, we have the mud flaps, uh, which we actually love. Here we have more putt lights. Um, again, just to kind of light up the places or we're uh, backing up into somewhere and we need to light up a little bit more for uh, visibility. Um, and another strip light that it gives your signals and, and uh, just more lighting. All right, on the other side of the bus, we have an outside shower. 
Uh, we also have uh, more storages, and then this is where we host our propane. Um, here we have uh, two 25 uh, pound tank uh, propanes that that's just we we can go about two months with it and uh, on the towing Jeep. So when we tow the Jeep, we also have two extra ones that we carry in case we ever need it. So we don't have to worry about running out to, to grab more. So here's a little bit of uh, what we've done in the last 10 months. Um, we started out in Florida and made our way up to Montana, uh, hit south and went through Utah and uh, Wyoming, Utah, New Mexico, um, and then eventually hit back east to back to Florida. Um, we've had such an amazing time and hopefully we can fill all 50 states uh, by the time we're done traveling. Um, so I'm a speech and language pathologist. Um, I, up until recently, my whole entire, I worked part-time and my whole clientele was telehealth. So I did all of my sessions through Zoom. Um, I just recently quit to focus on some other business stuff that we have going on. Um, so I'm a speech pathologist and that's what I do. Uh, I work in cybersecurity, so uh, I'm an ethical hacker. Um, so I hack legally for, for a living. I work full-time remote and sometimes, like I said, I do travel a lot from time to time and that's when I want to leave her and the dogs in a safe spot and, and uh, well, yeah, that's what we do for work. I'm a, I work in cybersecurity and she's a speech pathologist. I do have anxiety and changes are very hard for me, um, so this was hard to wrap my mind around the possibility of us even being able to do this, um, but I just kind of took a leap of faith. I, you know, I trusted my husband and I knew this was going to work out and so I did it and it has been probably the best decision that we could have done. We've become closer um, as a couple. We felt like we've really been able to work on ourselves. Our relationships with other people have become better. We've met some amazing people in this community. This community is so welcoming. Um, so if you're out there thinking about jumping into this lifestyle, just do it because it's been extremely liberating. It's been so fun. Um, and I don't regret one second of it. I agree and uh, I guess also, you know, there's a lot of uh, military people out there who are used to living outside and you know either PTSD puts you in a depression or, or or you're just always overwhelmed or or depressed like do something different do this you know be out there be in a great community um, and you know it will really change your life. Hmm. Um, you can follow our journey um, on Instagram or TikTok at Scouting About the C in Scouting is actually K a playoff of words for schoolie. Um, so scouting dot about on Instagram and our TikTok. Okay, thank you for coming to our tiny home tour. Um, I hope you enjoyed getting to see the inside and outside of Scout, our home. Um, if you have any questions or want to see more content, follow Tiny Home Tours and us on Instagram. Bye.